What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Dominaria Draft here on Magic Online. I just realized the other day, last night actually, that we have yet to draft, we have yet to open a Siege Gang Commander. And I actually was looking uh, for cards for Dominaria in paper, and I was like, let me see what cards I need for uh, to play like paper standard or whatever. And I was like, Siege Gang Commander is in this set. Wow, let me find out. And then I almost wondered if it was in one of the Planeswalker decks. Because I hadn't seen it actually... I haven't opened it yet in this set. I think we played against it once, so maybe I was probably wrong. I mean, I was wrong. But it was just... I was like... I just thought that was fascinating. Because it's a regular rare. It's not like a mythic or anything. And it's either Academy Journey Mage or Mirari Conjecture. I'm probably going with Mirari Conjecture here. Because it's pretty good. Yeah, this seems like the strongest pick. I mean, if it's anything like yesterday, the... Uh, the Academy Journey Mage will just table anyway, so. Did you turn chat off for the elevator? No, I didn't actually. I was wondering why I was so quiet in here. Alpstrom, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Four months in a row. Um, I like blue-black. I also like blue-red and blue-white. And I like all the blues. Blue and everything else is good. I think it's Ergaros, but... Radiant Lightning count to zero. A preach. Um, what up, Tuxie? I also couldn't hear the music on my end, so I wonder if there was something going on with with my OBS. I mean, I, I don't think that would affect chat, but I think that's a separate weird function. I think it's Urgros. I like having legendaries in this format because there's a lot of cool things you can do with that. Spore Swarm is also pretty good, especially if we can get it back with Marari Conjecture. I also like Avon Sentry, but I think Spore Swarm is the better card, especially with Marari Conjecture. I guess we're just taking the Spore Swarm and staying open. Arvad? Hmm. Well. Now we're just in four colors. Or Goblin Barrage? Good lord. I mean, alternatively, in the colors we have, we have Dark Bargain, Stronghold Confessor, or Cross Android, all of which I would play. But these are far better. Also, we have an instant and a sorcery to get back with Marari Conjecture, so that's pretty good. Four damage just kills pretty much anything, right? And it's only one red. I'm probably just going to take Barrage here. So we don't know what we're doing yet. We'll figure it out. Radiant Lightning Count. I'm going to take this Academy Wind Drake. At least it's Academy Academy Drake, not Wind Drake. My bad. Uh, which is in... It's in blue, so that's fine. Hinterland Harbor actually... Actually looks like probably the pick here. I like a syncopate and a mammoth spider, but I I like fixing my mana a little more than I like either of those things. Especially if we're trying to go four color. Oh, Bailoth Gorger. Yeah, it's definitely Gorger here. Even though we're getting a little heavy on four drops. It's still pretty good. Oh, short sword and a shield. Is this artist the same? John, Helen, Marceau. No, looks the same. There's a lot of sym symmetry going on here. So I just assumed. This card's very good, but. Eh, we do have Spore Swarm. It might just be Spider. Spider solves a lot of problems. I like Sword a lot. I'm going to take the Spider here. We did not get. I wonder if it's worth taking the Slinvala and just taking all of the... All right, we're going to try something different today. I'd like to take this Compass, but we're going to take this. And then we're going to take all of the... Uh, what do you call it? All of the Power Stones that we can find. It's either Pierce or Broken Bond. Both of these are very good sideboard cards. I'm going to take the Bond here because I think we can get another Pierce this guy. And we already have a Mammoth Spider to, to deal with flying things, so I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dark Bargain seems pretty good. 
We might not be red. We might be black. We'll see. <clears throat> All right. Actually, I'm okay with this these picks. So. Oh wow! <clears throat> Perfect. <clears throat> oh look, a trainer's torment. The the one you never want to hit. Uh, do we go full five color here? Probably not. I feel like it's just fire intervention. I feel like that's the best card in this pack. Or Blessed Light, but we already have a red card, and we don't actually necessarily need to be black here. <clears throat> I actually don't think Marwyn's that great. And I would rather take Fiery over over Blessed Light because we're already uh we already have a red card. Marwyn's fine for ramp, but she only ramps you one. And we don't actually have any other elves. She is legendary though. I'm gonna take the Marwyn. Hmm. Shivan fire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's actually Shivan Fire here. I would like a grow from the ashes, but it could also be Blink. Blink is easier on the mana. And we don't have to be red. Like we're we don't have to force ourselves into red for no reason. It's probably Blink. My problem with fire is we have no way to splash it right now. If we get a grow from the ashes, I think it's great because then we have all of a sudden we have uh, one red. Trying to figure out that. Hmm. Yeah, but our main color is going to be one of our main colors is going to be blue. So I'll take the shiv and fire. I I don't know if it's correct, but. Uh, another Gorger. Another Power Stone Shard. How many Power Stone Shards do we want? We want two at least. I know we'll play two. If this is a Grow from the Ash, I'd rather, I'd rather have that, but... The problem with Theran plus Vada is that it you can't kick it. So, like, you want the kick. Yeah, I think it's Gorger here. Oh, the double Slinvada? Is that what we want? Hmm. Unfortunately, we only have two, three legendary guys so far, so this is not great. At any point, I don't think. Uh, Lenoir Envoy is probably pretty good for us. I can't imagine we're black. <clears throat> Gitu Chronicler could be good. Gets back Shiv and Fire, gets back Golem Barrage. Spore Swarm. Academy Journey Mage. Probably the pick. Broken Bond, which you already have one of. Yeah, this seems fine. Oh, we don't have a short sword yet. Got a Yargle. Man, Lich's Mastery. Always a thing. I'll take the other two drop. K 
Candle seems fine. Probably playable. Oath of Teferi. The Power Stone Shard came back. Everybody wins. All right, our deck's basically done. What do we have to go with Mariah Conjecture right now? Spore Swarm, Goblin Barrage, and Shivan Fire. That's pretty much it. And Dark Bargain if we play the black. The Druidic Vow came back. Has that gotten any better? No, but I'll take it anyway, because it also hits lands. But it puts the rest into your graveyard, unfortunately. I'm probably just more likely to play Glider. <laughs> I'll take a War Chief for the fun of it. Frenzied Rage number two. All right, we did it. What did we do? I don't know. Siege Gang, wow, speak of the devil. <laughs> All right, well, that's hilarious. We had a rant about this. Wow, I also want this Tatiova and this Icy Manipulator. I think it's got to be Siege Gang. <clears throat> wow, that was a strange call. Yeah, this pack is great. I'm going to go Siege Gang. Oh, Gilded Lotus. Who passes Gilded Lotus Unlimited? Thank you. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the three-month sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you. Spaghetti Toucher two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. I will take Gilded Lotus because it's pretty busted and limited. And it's really good fixing. I don't know why I'm putting you here. I have no other... Uh, no other wizards. Well, I have Vidal Vidalian Arcanist. So I guess that's a thing. Hmm. Well. Now I don't know what to do. I like Joda. But I don't like Joda's colors. Happy Monday, Azora Hype. Um, I don't want another Llanowar Envoy. I don't like Compass here just because we have Lotus. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I'd almost rather just have the 2-drop. Yeah, let's take the 2-drop because we do have a Gilded Lotus. On Sarah's Wings is pretty good. Oh, good lord. And it's better than anything else in this pack. Can I get just one grow from the ashes? I actually do need a reason to not like Compass, because Compass has been very, very good for us. Alright, we're taking down Sarah's Wings. Mm, okay. Oh, wow, second Joda. Oh, Thorn Elemental is a great addition to a deck that needs a, another top end card. I will take that pretty easily. Wow, that was a late song of Fraley's. Can we talk about that for a second? I'm going to cut the shards right now. I guess it's just Primordial Worm. I think we're all, sh we're all sharded out, and we also have Gilded Lotus. Hmm. 
don't know if we're playing the white. I'll take this guy. I don't have any six drops yet either. Uh, is this a third Joda? I'm going to take the first Joda and see if we can actually... Uh, uh, I like Syncopate a lot. And it will find a home. Wow, these these white cards are something else. Take this guy. Eh, take a compass. Take an envoy. Yeah, the problem is we just don't need nine mana. If we had a fire, if we had a, a uh, I like unwind. All right, so we need one cut here. That's pretty good. How good is Conjecture? We have Shiv and Fire. Goblin Barrage, which is also good with this. Syncopate. I don't know how good... I don't know how good uh, Mirari Conjecture is in our deck, unfortunately. Hmm. That's really sad. Oh, Spore Swarm. We also have Spore Swarm, which actually might put it over the top. So, three instants. Only one sorcery in our deck. That's weird. <coughs> uh, I like. The, I actually like the Sad Bird just because we have Song of Fraley's. And this guy has won me games. This guy has been very efficient. We're actually higher red than I would like to be. I mean, but we have double red and uh, Gitu Chronicler is double red to kick. I'm probably never playing that guy without kicking him. I guess we can cut one Envoy, but the double red's nice. I'm going to ambitiously put you in the four slot. I like Voltaic Servant just because it's a way to block. We don't have a lot of early guys. I'm just justifying these things to myself. We have 16 guys. We can probably cut Primordial Worm. He's not very exciting. And actually, blue is blue is more of a splash now than than anything. So seven, which is eight green, which is fine. Be four blue with the Hinterland Harbor and six red. That seems okay. Hmm. Yeah, red looks like the splash, but I don't, oh, actually, we want triple blue for for Slin Vada, but Gilded Lotus gives us that. So, we can also just go seven green. Yeah, I like that better. Seven, five, six. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> also, if we can get back a Sprout Swarm with a... Uh, not Sprout Swarm. Sprout... S Spore Swarm. Surprisingly similar. If we can get back a Spore Swarm with Mirari Conjecture and then replay it uh, when we copy it, that's pretty sweet.
All right. <clears throat> I'll I'll take I'll take it. No red, but no red cards either, so everybody wins. Oh, I guess we spoke too soon. Yeah, the sub count's been fluctuating for uh, like a week now. We'll go up to 93, and then we'll go up to 88. We'll go down to 88, and then we'll go up to 91, and then we'll go back down to 86, and it's just like, all right, we get it. It's mostly because of Twitch Prime subs. They expire uh, after 30 days, and you have to renew them automatically, which which causes some, uh, some feel-bads at the end of each month where you see a steep decline, and you're like, what did I do? And then really it's just these uh, these one-month subscriptions just end up expiring. So Perfect timing. Oh, there's a... Oh, I had a little fly. Got it. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, that guy's fine. Not super impressed. How many how many historic cards do you think they have? I guess it doesn't matter because this guy's a four four. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what? I'll bite. You got plus four, plus four? Get its approach. Sure. It's not a bait. See, everybody plays multiple colors in this format. Also, next time we get to keep up syncopate, that's pretty good, right? Well, now we have everything we need. So what we can do is syncopate the tiny guy and then shiv and fire this Bailoth Gorger. Means we can't play Academy Drake for a turn, but maybe we don't care about the little guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna take four here. Oh, I changed my profile. We got a we got a treasure the other day with a ragavan, and I knew they had adamant will. Like I, it's real frustrating because we can't really play around adamant will. <clears throat> I 
I mean, we can double block here. I have to assume they still they have nothing after that. Gorger number two. All right. Well, they know we got Shiv and Fire back. They didn't attack either, so. Well, I know one of their two cards, so that's good. Envoy. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly syncopate this. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> well, you know, we have the, you know, you have the three, two. Yep. Yeah, look at this glider just doing work. It's something good. It's pretty good. Old Thorny. Okay. Guess we should have played post combat. I didn't. F I didn't first see Seal Away as being their one card, so that's my fault. And Blessed Light. Wow, very good. Just throw everybody in there. Yeah, just alpha. This is not a this is not a moment of weakness, buddy. Well that was pretty bad. Kid Cabbage, glad to hear it, buddy. Thank you so much. Well, you can see how that, that seal away plus the blessed light were both uh pretty insane for them. Um we can actually get Shiv and Fire back and kill you. We don't have a sorcery though. So I actually think we just uh, kick this gentleman. Which sounds much meaner than it actually is. Block, block. I guess we just hope one of your last year two cards are not also removal. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> this card whiffs very, very frequently. <clears throat> exactly. I've I think I've had three people activate Memorial to Unity against me, and three all three of them whiffed. And now we get to keep syncopate up, which is pretty strong. I'm going to just get in there because we have to get in there some at some point. I, I really want to block. Like, this guy blocks everything else, and this guy can block here, so. <clears throat> I'll give them an attack with their Sanctum Spirit. And as long as they don't play something that costs three or less, we are okay. That's fine.
keep coming at you. Lots of lifelink happening though, which is unfortunate. We'll just envoy again. I don't see us needing to kill these guys anytime soon. Like, we can easily go block, 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 and then take two. Yep. Seems fine. That's a reasonable trade. Yeah. Well, that was nice to get rid of. That seems good. <clears throat> That's also pretty good. Top decks are real. Oh, and you get the Icy Manipulator? Wow, why didn't you tap something down and attack there? So you get to go tap. And then tap something else. <clears throat> the sergeant didn't do anything on this board we didn't have mammoth spider at the time we had these three guys and they would have had one two three four five six seven guys so if they alpha we go to one and then we get to kill three guys and then next well i don't even know if we get to kill three guys like i guess we kind of do but i mean them having seven guys means they need one more person on board to alpha for lethal like, I don't think I don't think three guys is really where they want it, where we want to be when when we're at five. I actually think syncopate is stronger here. Sure. Because that was before we'd drawn Spider, so. Ah, <sighs> oh, boy. He gets Vigilance and Trample. How nice. I don't know whether or not tapping down more things. Like if you just tap down, if you tap down that guy, you could actually probably force me to block here. We're real close.
I think we just play it as an 8-8. <laughs> Give you one turn to... I mean, you're going to tap this guy down. Then we just go block, block. We take one. We go to one. So you can see why uh, if we didn't have... If we let that sergeant resolve, we'd be dead here based on the top decks of Icy Me Player and Forebearer's Sword. Blade. Yep, that's fine. Not great for us, but... I mean, if they hit a land there, we would have been in great shape because then we could... Now I'm wishing we got at the Shivan Fire, but... Yep, tap a thing, tap another thing. That's annoying. Yeah, Broken Bond is definitely coming in. We have Four Bearers Blade, Icy, and Seal Away. And this Voltaic uh, Servant has been kind of obnoxious as well. Tap the spider. Uh, Icy's find it uncommon. It's not broken. I mean, it doesn't win games. It just is. It's it's obnoxious, but Icy should definitely not be rare. Yep. Interesting. You left the spider in the. Huh. See, this is the part of the deck where like we have a bunch of bad draws like Gilded Lotus and um, what's the other one called? Like Marwin. <clears throat> like these are all cards that we don't want to draw at this point in the game. Oh, God. I don't think they've drawn a basic land since, uh, but for about five turns now. There you go. They figured it out. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> That's exactly what we're talking about. Now I feel bad about this Lynn Vada because now we can just cast it with, uh, yep. Two taps a turn is pretty good. Oh, look. All of my big creatures. They don't have that many... Cr well, I guess they have the memorial, so they always have infinite creatures now. Thankfully, I have infinite one threes, so. Oh, yeah, they're definitely playing better cards. Like, there's no doubt four ba the rare four bearers blade, the uncommon icy, the uncommon seal away are better cards than my Vidalion Arcanist and my 
syncopate. Like, yeah, no, the, there's no no one's arguing that point. All right. Well, that's not what I wanted you to do. Okay, please stop doing that. All right, that's annoying. Interesting you got rid of the Chronicle instead of the Al the, Al the Arcanist when we have uh Sure. Like, you know we have it. I don't know why you wouldn't just crack this, actually. Whatever. Six, I don't care. It's a very strange play when you know we have Syncopate. I mean, it basically gives us another turn because now you don't get extra guys on board, so we get to block this again. Got my kingdom for a broken bond. <laughs> it's actually not terrible. I wish they were elves so that we could trigger Marwyn. Marwyn feels so out of place in this set. Whenever you cast another elf, whenever another elf enters the, enters the battlefield, like... Did they just get four of them? Then they tap down you. Or they keep you up. I don't even know what's going on. They untap, they tap. Sure. Matthew Ori, I don't know why my opponent is doing any of the things he's doing. I just play magic. Yep. <laughs> you dummy. Now you dead. Go to one. My god. We're on borrowed time, but our opponent has four minutes less than us, so I don't really feel terrible about it. Yeah. Okay, so tap, tap. Block here with both. It still dies. Is there a card in our deck? Siege Gang Commander would be great here. Yep. Yep, that's game. All right. <clears throat> Finally did it. Okay, Broken Bond. You could not come in faster. Probably just gonna, gonna go 41 here, but make sure we don't want anything else brought in. I think we're actually fine. I actually don't like Marari Conjecture, I don't think. I don't think we have enough to actually, I think it's just like a, a buyback for one, or for five rather for one. I don't know what that even means. I think I'd rather just have the unwind to get rid of things like uh, 
Blade and everything else that he just played. <clears throat> yeah, Unwind seems good. I will play first. I'll keep. Seems good. Yeah, Karakong, I say this all the time. My time is more valuable than that. Like, I would rather just get the next game going. Like, I know they have lethal. They know they have lethal. Man, I, yeah, there's a very slim chance that they might not have attacked. But <clears throat> uh, the fact that they already tapped my guy means that they probably see it. Wow. I don't know where else. There's a lot of tokens that we're going to make, at least. Do we get a turn off? No. That's fine. I mean, the only the only possible uh, the only the only reason not to concede there is to run down their clock for another thirty seconds. Just because they don't attack doesn't mean we have any chance of winning that game. So, All right, that's about enough lands. I think we're good on lands. Seven is about seven to three is about my limit as far as lands to spells. Hmm. Well, we're not not playing Spore Swarm, just to be clear. And if you want to block any of these, that is more than fine. No. Intriguing. Look, it's your favorite and mine. Fashion or late to the party, unwind. You tap the big guy, huh? Or definitely broken bonding that I see, so. I'll make two guys in response. That is your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're two men away from Slin Vada, which would be sweet because then we can bounce our CGN commander. I would be surprised if you attacked here. I am surprised. We're too blue away from casting Slin Vada, which is kind of funny. No. <clears throat> I 
I mean, we have no cards. They have two cards, but I feel like our board's pretty good, so. Speak of the devil. Love you YouTube. Watch before going to sleep. And first thing, first time tuning in. Thanks for, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Alpha, thank you so much, buddy. Sure. If you want to trade an adamant will for a sap rolling token, I'm okay with that. I don't want to get rid of the CJ in case we draw double blue here. Or Gilded Lotus. Well, that's pretty good too, I guess. <clears throat> Get to queue up Siege Gang. It's pretty okay. Like, they're basically dead. We just block here, shoot them. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually pretty good. If they equip their Mesa Unicorn, they're probably dead. The answer, my friends, is blowing in the wind. Well, that was a better game. Oh, Song of Fraley's. Where were you? Where have you been my whole life? Deck seems good. I'm okay with the way it looks. I mean, with double Lanowar Envoy, Marwin's not terrible. She can also get counters from uh, Song of Fraley's. What's the deck you've had the most fun with so far in Dominator Draft? Any of the four and five color decks, definitely. Uh, even if you don't win with them, sometimes you do and they crush. Sometimes they're just super fun. So. I don't like this hand. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Slyn Vada is basically a mulligan. Oh, let's so you give it back. Okay. <clears throat> Deal. I will keep any blue or red land on top. Forest? Eh. Okay. <clears throat> I agreed to it, so. Mirai Conjecture and Fight with Fire seems pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good too. This is a good start. <clears throat> no doubt about that. I think I like the Hexproof Turtle and Sarah's uh, Mad Ascendance Sarah, on Sarah's Wings. That seems like a better... Um, I think we're going to try to go blue-white again next draft. We haven't gone blue-white, just basic blue-white in a while. So let's do that. <clears throat> Alright, they didn't play anything here, which is good. Hopefully they just play like Icy this turn. That would be great. They played nothing. Well, we have Broken Bond to deal with an Icy if they do play an Icy. So I'll just play... God, we know they have Adamant Will. They have so much removal. They have Blessed Light... And they have uh, Gift of the Guardians. <laughs> oh, that's not a thing I care about at all. That's great.
Yeah, this is this is pretty good. This turned out pretty well. All right, that worked out very, very well. I will take two. I feel like I win this race, even though I'm a little behind now. All right, hoping for the... Oh, Sanctum Spirit. That's so sad. Oh, less sad. All right, we're just going to keep getting in there. If we can top take a Gilded Lotus, that'd be amazing, because then we can slide right into Slinvala. Oh, God, no. Yeah, we'll go for four. They can't pay four. That card is just busted. <laughs> just busted. Not a lot of value, but still good. Also, let's just tap this guy for Slinvada. Not probably, probably not happening, but if we draw a land next turn, we can just hard cast Slinvada, which is pretty good. <clears throat> Slinvoda. I'm saying Slinvada, V A D A, and it's actually Voda, V O D A. Land off the top for old Slinny. That'll do. All right. Well, you have three cards. If you have Blessed Light, you're in great shape. If you have Seal, you're in good shape because it gets rid of Gorger. If you have just a bunch of dirtly cards that cost seven or more worse. What up the Mike Hypothesis? Good seeing you. I feel like this is pretty cut and dry. If you have a removal spell, you just get rid of Slin Voda. That's good too. Mm, that's fine. What if I draw Spore? Can I draw Spore? Oh my god, Spore, what's it called? Spore Infestation? Whatever it is. Spore Sprout? Spore Swarm? It's Mountain. Okay. Not as good, but... <clears throat> so this is lethal. So you have to block with, like, two one ones or a Sanctum Spirit. Seems good. What up, Zaxor? I don't know if Glimpse the Unthinkable really does it for us here. We are currently one oh yes. Or no, we're not we're we're one it's it's one one, it's game three. We haven't won we haven't won this is our first match. All of our creatures are bigger than yours. I'm gonna assume your last card is not blessed light, because that doesn't make any sense. Or seal away number two. 
<clears throat> Thorn Elemental just wins the game, right? Like if they can't deal with the Thorn Elemental. It's gonna make guys, right? Sure. When would that memorial have been scary? We're at six right now. I mean, we just block this, we take three. If they have gift in hand, we're dead. But. I mean, if they, if they have a gift in hand, we'd be dead anyway, so. Oh, now they can't pump it, though. They can't. It's only five. Oh, they have Gideon's Reproach, though. All right. <clears throat> Let's play around Gideon's Reproach. We'll t oh, God. Oh, uh, Reproach wins us. Actually, if they have Reproach, they're dead anyway. So we play around the card. If it's Gift, this guy dies. And it, this guy untaps. Oh, I guess we just win the game. That was actually a complicated block for us. I I don't know if I don't know if that was a, as cut and dry. So they had gift, um, which is plus two plus two, and it untaps their guy. So um, that would have killed us if we didn't block the two the two one. But if they have Gideon's reproach, actually Gideon's reproach, yeah, Gideon's reproach would have been six or would have been seven. Um, so that would have killed our thorn elemental. But. If they use Gideon's Reproach, then they're tapped out and they die to Slinvala. Slin, Slin, Slinvoda. Um, so, like, if we block here and they and they have Gift. If we put them on Gift. Gift deals us four, right? One, two, and then plus two, plus two. And then they have one blocker left over and this guy kills them. If they have Gideon's Reproach, it doesn't untap anything. And this guy dies. And then they die to Slinvoda. So, so, either way, they die to one of these two guys. So... All right, seems good. I think I just want another card in here. I'm going to take out Mirari Conjecture, and I'm just going to bring in Broken Bond. It just seems like it's just a better card in this format. I also kind of just want Primordial Worm. We have Song... We have, a, what are you called? Marwin, and we have Gilded Lotus. Is that enough to go 41? Probably. I just want another big thing at the top end. I will play first. Sounds a little, a little terrible. Uh, why wouldn't 41 be correct? And you have to actually give me uh, accurate information and not regurgitate things you've heard pros say. <clears throat> yeah, this hand seems better. And I will keep you on top. Yeah, I haven't seen the new Luke Cage trailer yet. I'm looking forward to it, though. <laughs> well, Jeff Hoogland said... Oh, all right. So the thing about 41 cards, um, there's decks like this where, so, <laughs> um, there's decks like this where we have 17 lands. We also have Marwyn. We have Gilded Lotus. So there's a lot of situations where like in the late game, 
<clears throat> this is even the case when you have like two land of war land of war elves as well right um where you kind of have an essentially you have like 19 lands instead of 17 so in the late game you have a higher potential of drawing uh more mana spells and then that, that don't do anything so if you how many cards have we pulled zero absolute zero we've opened zero cards zero lyras and one tefri i believe um and um, so, so by playing 41 without decreasing your land count, it makes it so you're a little more likely to draw spells, but without, you know, hindering your ability to actually play them and, and getting getting mana screwed. Because um, every, it, it, the, the, the statistic is every land over, um, or every, every card over 41, if it's not a land, is like adding 0.5 cards to your deck uh, instead of like one extra card. Does that make sense? I don't know if, I don't know if that makes sense or not. But really, like, the whole, like, you, you always play your best cards and you cut the worst card. There's always a worst card from your deck. I think that's actually less true in Limited. Because in Limited, you don't get the option of putting all the cards in you want. Um, so, like, in Constructed, I can literally put any card in that is available to me, right? So, if I have a Lyra and a Teferi, I know one of these is going to be better, which is why I put it in my deck. But in Limited, it's different because you don't get to choose all of the cards you put in your deck. You just have to work with what you have. So if you only have like two pieces of removal, um, you have to make sure to include those. But you still have to have enough creatures. Or you still have to have enough, you know, other cards. I just, I just totally skipped my turn. Oh, well, never mind. Everything's good now. Always worked. Never, never didn't have it. Yeah, 40 versus 41 is such a small difference anyway. It really doesn't make... Like, in this deck, I know I'm, there's there's going to be matches where I want to flood out because I have 19 mana sources. And I don't think my spell, my power, spell power level is that high. But I do want to include a card like Broken Bond, which is very versatile. But I also don't want to cut anything for it, really. So, you know, it's right in the middle of the road there. I think this Relic, this relic Runner is going to win us the game. Pronk, a good good games, man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just play ten. Or nine, I guess that is nine. Syncopate. No, oh, no syncopate. Blink from eternity. Blessed light. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. Whatever you got. Yeah, this guy's just going to kill us. Well, that's not going to hurt. That's not going to do it. All right. So, <laughs> a card like Pierce the Sky would be nice here. Unfortunately, we do not have that. Uh, we are going to bring in the Blood Tallow Candle, though. And we'll cut. What's up, Valley Man? Good seeing you. You can cut on, boy. Ugh, these hands. Yeah, that's better. I want to put you on the bottom. I don't think we're at any in any uh, risk of not drawing a fourth land by turn four, and I really don't want another. Uh, <clears throat> I really don't want another forest if I can help it. Here we go. I've played sixteen, but fifteen is probably lower than I'll go. Well, we did draw it. And this matches up well against the Spore Swarm, so that's pretty good. If you play a million games, you really, you'll really begin to see the difference between 40 and 41. Um, 
maybe that's true. But I also don't think it's going to be favored towards the 40. Like, I don't think the statistics are there. I think you'll see the difference, but I don't think that necessarily proves that it's going to be better for the the 40 cards. Stay a while and listen. <clears throat> yeah, that's just fine. If that's gonna if that's gonna be your turn, if you're gonna use your turn to pump this guy, while well, I still have two more guys back for this little this, this little Larry, I'm okay with it. There we go. Wow, that was great on so many levels. Let's get in there. <clears throat> Oh, I see. That's actually fine. This is why we kept back a sapperling. Why not play 42 or 43? Well, there is there is a limit to where you will get diminishing returns on the added cards. Like there there's like I'm not I'm not I'm not saying there's no truth to drawing your best cards, right? Like you want to draw your best cards in your deck. If I start putting a 45th, 46th card in my deck, you're not going to draw those cards. Um that's just the way it works. I'm just saying a 41st card is not really going to be the, the the make or break. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Hmm. Mm, we'll block you. We could have blocked here, taken, taken three, but we're probably just going to play Siege Gang, which, which matches up well against the 3-1, so... That's fine. They're probably gonna blood telecandle the siege gang to keep their academy Drake alive, especially when we're when we're out of measly Yep. Seems fine. And we have an Academy Drake of our own if we can ever draw land. If we draw blue, we're just gonna go Well, we did not draw a blue. All right, we got two turns to three turns to draw blue here. Well, two I guess because we go to four, then we draw, then we go to two, and then we draw. So we might just be dead to this aggressive blue white deck, unfortunately. Unbl oh my god! Come on, dude. Yep. All right, cool. <laughs> no blue for us. All right, that was nice and easy. Let's uh let's move on. <clears throat>Based on the fact that we have more more blue than more green than anything else, so more forests than anything else, I should say. Uh, one thick player, one flying swan. The flying swan, unfortunately. Damn boy, he thick boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. The same can also be true for all three of these. So, oh, a fungal plots, forest, mm, gorger. How about double forest? <clears throat> this hand is pretty rough. All right, now we just have to hit lands for like literal rest of the game. It's a good start. <laughs>
Doesn't matter how greedy your deck is if you don't draw lands. We can't bomb the plots. We don't have any forests. All right. We're just going to go to the next game because we're going to be taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's a two turn clock, and nothing we can really do is going to help that. All right. <laughs> I like that you just think I'm not playing cards. <laughs> just, why aren't you playing any spells? Well, you see, Music Manly. Let me explain how lands work to you, good sir. <clears throat> All is forgiven. Oh, do we do it again? Yes, because we have a lot more playables in this hand. I can't tell if you're actually... Are you actually colorblind? Have you ever gotten legit mad while playing? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. But I never, like... I, I never got legit mad. Um, I, I've gotten legit mad. I'd like to think it didn't affect my opponent, but I know it has. I know there's times where I've like gotten, I've gotten shitty against an opponent, and I definitely try not to do that. And no, it's a joke. Plus, I can read. <laughs> All right, well, that's good. Stop looking at me, Swan. Oh, that was a good draw. Kevin in Florida, are you Ke are you the Kevin I know? Are you Kevin M? Or are you just a completely different Thank coincidental you. Kevin? Chad Bradbury with the 50 month sub. Thank you so much, dude. You are my favorite. You're my favorite Chad Bradbury. What if this short sword gave vigilance? It would just be broken, right? It would just break the format. No blocks. I do not have block. Oh, a little plotty. Well, that doesn't do anything here. <clears throat> oh, vigilance instead of plus one, plus one. Well, I'd never share a milkshake with other Chad Bradberries, that's for sure. I feel like this game's going better. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, huh? Was milkshake a euphemism there? Nobody knows. It wasn't Chad's milkshake. He didn't own the milkshake, okay? Let's let's be clear about milkshake ownership. Oh, look at that little horse. <clears throat> look at that horse. That horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. All right, we're just going to do some... They have, like, no profitable blocks, right? Thanks to Bailoth Gorgie. What? Wait, what? All right, let's see if this works. Oh. <laughs> They're probably like, oh, I see. I've made a terrible mistake. All right, well, that's unfortunate. We're fortunate. Nobody knows. 
Look at all these rares. Rare, rare, rare. They're all useless. They're all they all do nothing. <clears throat> my boss is coming to my office tomorrow from California. Now I can't stream your videos while at work. Tomorrow's gonna. <laughs> Well, your boss sounds terrible, Kevin. Your boss sounds just terrible. I'll keep this hand. Because I'm Frank in Florida, so everybody wins. That was a good draw. I guess I don't know how everybody wins just because I'm Frank in Florida, but, you know, I really do want either a Siege Gang or a, uh, a Spore Man for my Song of Frailies. Okay, well, we're getting closer to the Siege Gang. If you donate bits, you do get to see a milkshake. I really have no desire to have this guy adamant willed. I bet there's better shiv and fire targets, am I right? Plus we got a spooter. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm probably going to kill this guy because I don't feel like dealing with his shenanigans. I don't want you guys to get too out of hand. Oh man, don't attack me, bro. we do here we can go song into to servant hmm so if we go song we attack with this guy we add one can't do both I can attack, but I can't add one. Unfortunate. Oh, I'll untap you. Ooh, that's rude. Why are you the way that you are? I guess we're taking Quattro. This guy's just better, right? Song gives Trample, Indestructible, Vigilance. It gives everything except for Lifelink. Which makes sense. It's not it's not white, so that is just fine. I hope I draw spore. I just want to draw draw spore swarm just one time before I before I die. Before Dang it. Every time you're gonna you're gonna just make my life choices so hard. Get in there, big boy. <laughs> He's thick, but also long. Oh my god. I just take eight. It's a free eight to the face. Okay. Also, this spider's pretty thick, man. Three five? Woo. <clears throat> We are dropping some frames right now. I don't even know why. I couldn't even tell you.
I ain't going to play around. I'm just going to kill this Baird and hope you don't have an adamant will. You did not. <clears throat> I feel like we're, we're, we're safe enough here to do this. They probably got something, right? Sorry about the drop frames. I don't know what's happening. I think my internet is just dying. Thankfully, it won't affect. It won't. It won't affect. It won't affect the Twitch video, so that's good. Well, that's just enough obnoxious. We have a lot of. We have a lot of mana, though. We can pretty much cast whatever we want. This is why you play forty-one, because now our our odds of drawing a spell are a little bit higher, just a little bit, just enough. See, that's pretty good. I might even just play that unkicked. <clears throat> so you're pretty much, you're pretty much locked into having to block Primordial Worm every turn. That's pretty good. Might be able to get away with chumping and taking three here. Yep, and you do. Yeah, I'm not going to get greedy here. I'd rather just have a blocker when we're at ten and they have five power on board. My whole board is thick. <clears throat> How do you hold all these frames? I can't. I can't hold all these frames. Apparently. Well, that's pretty excellent. That's that's a game winner. So they double block here, they block here, they go to three. I don't actually think we even attack with this guy. They have to like triple block here. Hey, yeah, we attack with everything. That's fine. <laughs> we are not the uh, the defender here. If we just attack with this guy, they can still triple block here, and we still get to kill one thing. So, oh, they have to block here though. So they block there. They double block this guy. All right, this is all fine. They go to three, and they have just one dude on board. And we get to counter whatever they play. So this game is pretty much over, I think. What up, Ardeen? Unthicked. <laughs> yeah, this is not happening. I will GG's you. Oh, it didn't happen. All right. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Didn't the, I don't think the matches went the way we wanted them to, but we still won, so I guess we can't complain. Like, it felt weird. Like, we were trying to do certain things, and those things didn't happen. We were trying to ramp to Slinvada. We were trying to get a cool board with Song of uh, Song of Fraley's. None of those things really happened, but we still ended up winning most of our matches. So, what are you going to do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out my Patreon. It's in the description. It's patreon.com slash franklapore, and I'll catch you guys next time.